before we jump into Q&A, Elon has some opening remarks. Elon? Oh, thank you. Uh, so to recap, as I was saying, um, uh, it's something that what about industry, I've seen year over year declines in order volumes in Q3. Uh, Tesla at the same time has achieved uh, record deliveries. In fact, I think if you look at uh, EV companies uh, worldwide, to the best of my knowledge, no EV company is even profitable. And, and, and I'm not, I, to the best of my knowledge, there was no EV division of any company, uh, of any existing auto company that is profitable. So it is notable that Tesla is profitable despite a uh, very challenging automotive environment. Um, and, uh, and, and this quarter actually uh, is a record Q3 for us. Um, so we produced our 7 million vehicle actually just yesterday. So congratulations to the teams that made it happen at Tesla. That's the staggeringly immense amount of work to make 7 million cars. Um, so uh, let's see, uh, and, we, and we also have the energy storage business is um, growing like wildfire uh, with strong demand for both Mega Pack and Powerwall. Um, and as people know, um, on October 10th, we laid out a vision for an autonomous and electric future that I think is very compelling. I also thought, you know, the, the Tesla team did a phenomenal job there with um, actually giving people an opportunity to experience the future. Uh, where, where you have humanoid robots walking among the crowd, not, not you know, with a canned video presentation or anything, but literally walking among the crowd, serving drinks and whatnot. And um, and we had 50 autonomous vehicles. There, there were 20 cyber camps, but there were an additional 30 Model Ys operating fully autonomously the entire night, uh, carrying thousands, thousands of people, uh, thousands of people, Jake, um, with with no incidents the entire night. Um, so, uh, and, and for those who went there, that I, it's, it's worth emphasizing that these, the Simon cap had no steering wheel or brake or accelerator pedals, meaning there was no, there was no pass, no, there was no way for anyone to intervene manually, even if they wanted to, um, and the whole night went very smoothly. So, um, regarding the vehicle business, we are still on track to deliver a more affordable uh, models starting in the first half of 2025. Um, you know, the, the, this is, I, I think probably people are wondering, well, what should they assume for vehicle, uh, vehicle sales growth next year? I, and I, and I, at, at the risk of, or to, to take a bit of risk here, I, I, I do want to give some, some rough estimate, which is, I think it's 20 to 30% vehicle growth next year. Um, you know, notwithstanding negative external events, like if there's some force majeure events, like some big war breaks out or interest rates go sky high or something like that, then, you know, we, we, we can't overcome massive force majeure events. But I, I think with our low cost vehicles, uh, with the advent of autonomy, something like a 20 to 30% growth next year is, is, uh, my best guess. Um, and, uh, and then, and then cyber cap reaching volume production in 26. I do feel confident of CyberCap reaching volume production in 26. So not just starting production, but reaching volume production in 26. Um, and that, uh, you know, that, that, that should be substantial growth. We're, we're, we're aiming for, you know, at least 2 million units a year of, of CyberCap. Um, that will be in more than one factory, but I think it's at least 2 million units a year, maybe 4 million ultimately. Um, so, uh, yeah, these are just my best guesses, but if you ask me what my best guess is, that, 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 those are my best guesses. Um, the, uh, the 26, the, the, the cell 4680 lines, the team is actually doing great work there. Um, the 4680 is, uh, rapidly approaching the point where it is the most competitive cell. So when you consider the, the fully, the fully landed, the, the cost of a, of a battery pack um, fully landed in the U S net of incentives and duties, uh, the 4680 is tracking to be the most competitive, uh, maybe being lower cost per kilowatt hour fully considered than any other alternative, which is, uh, no, we're not quite there yet, but we're, we're close to being there, which I think is, uh, extremely exciting. And we've got, 
um, several, a lot of ideas to go well beyond that. So if, if I, I think there's, if we execute well, the 4680 will we'll have the, the Tesla internally produced cell will be the most cost competitive, uh, cell in, in Southern North America. Um, uh, a testament to a tremendous amount of hard work there from by the team. So, um, that, that's a rule. We'll continue to buy a lot of cells from our competitors. So our not to make, to, to provide, to, to make cells just internally. So I don't want to set off any alarm bells here. Uh, we're, we're obviously increasing, uh, substantially our vehicle output and our stationary storage output. So we need a lot of cells. Um, and most of them will still come from suppliers, but, uh, but I think it is, it is a, uh, some good news that the Tesla internal cell um, is likely is tracking to be the most competitive in, in the US. So, with respect to autonomy, um, as people have, are experiencing in the cars, um, really from week to week, uh, there are significant improvements in the, the miles between interventions. Um, so, with the, the new version twelve point five release of full self-driving and Cybertruck, the, the, the combining the code into a single stack so that the uh, city driving and the engine and highway driving are, are one stack, uh, which is a, a big improvement for the highway driving. So it's, it's, it's just all neural nets. Uh, and the release of uh, actually Smart Summon. <laughs> um, we try to have a sense of humor here at desk. Uh, yeah, and we're also, so that, that's 12.5, uh, version 13 of FSD, uh, is going out soon. Um, Ashok will elaborate more on that, um, later in the call. Um, and we, we expect to see sub roughly a five or six fold improvement in miles between interventions compared to 12.5. Um, and actually looking at the, the year as a whole, uh, the improvement uh, in miles between interventions, we think will bring at least three orders of magnitude. So um, that's that's a very dramatic uh, improvement uh, in the course of the year, and, uh, and we expect that trend to continue next year. So um, the, the, the current the current internal expectation, the upside internal expectation, or uh, the Tesla FSD having um, longer miles between the planning human is the second quarter of next year, uh, which means it may end up being the third quarter, but it's it's next. It, it, it seems extremely likely to be next year. Sure, do you want to anything about that?